All right, guys, welcome back. It's time to do our Mugshot Monday grammar fixing time. Jot down this sentence, mistakes and all. When we last spoke, Ariel's friends, Nicole and Molly, were planning to share an apartment with her. All right, I'm going to have you hit pause. You'll make your corrections. And then when you're ready, you'll hit play and we can go over the answers. All right. As you know by now, when we start a sentence with when, you know there's going to be a comma coming up pretty quickly because when or if always show us that there's an introductory element that will separate it off from the main sentence, the independent clause. All right. Ariel's needs an apostrophe S. The friends belong to her. I decided for this sentence to go ahead and make Nicole and Molly non-essential in that we all know Ariel's two best friends, right? Like if we're in that circle group, we are a circle of, of, you know, people who know each other. Uh, we just know that Nicole, Molly, and Ariel are like the three amigos. So I made their names non-essential in that we would all know which two friends we were talking about. And therefore we didn't have to put the names in. You can decide though, like maybe you punctuated it that Ariel is a social butterfly and that you needed to qualify which of the friends that we were talking about. If that's the case, you then you would not have those commas. But I decided that everybody knew what we were talking about and that Nicole and Molly were not essential for the sentence to make sense. So you get to decide what you want on that one. All right, your next sentence coming up at you. Dog sledding, which has been Carl's favorite sport for years, requires a lot of effort. All right, you know what to do. Hit pause, make your corrections, and then hit play. And let's see how you did. All right, I have set off this non-essential information that runs in the middle of our sentence here with commas because we could uh, lift it up and out of the middle of the sentence. The main sentence is dog sledding requires a lot of effort. That's your independent clause. It stands on its two feet. It is a complete thought. Which has been Carl's favorite sport for years? Extra information, non-essential element, separate off with commas. You guys are seeing the pattern that I'm giving you here? Carl's, just like Ariel's in the last sentence, uh, needs the apostrophe S to show possession. Um, and then the word a lot is interesting. Uh, it throws folks off a lot in that it is two words. I always think a road, a car, a lot. Like they're just, they're, I don't know, like lot is a lot of something. <laughs> I said that I'm, I'm not a good teacher. <laughs> okay. A lot. Just make it two words. It's, it's, it's not a L O T all one word. It's just, it's two separate words, a car, a dog, a house, a lot. All right. I hope I said that well. I don't know. Just trust me on this one. Break it into two separate words. Okay. I hope you're having a great day. I'm feeling very Monday about this one, but we're going to go ahead and wrap it up and move on with life. Uh, I hope you are well. I'll be back on Wednesday. Hopefully I'll be a little bit more with it on Wednesday for our deep dive on three vocab words and then Freestyle Friday. I always have some kind of drop of high school English skill builder there for you. Hope you're doing great. Give the video a little likey like, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if not, that's cool too. I get it. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.